<laughs> Family hug. The fam gang is at it again. Mm -mm. Nope. Bruce, mate, stop hovering. This is family time. Here's a tenner. Take that one and go get yourselves a treat. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. No. It's fine. Um... What are you doing here? I've decided to stay a while. Really? You? Staying? Iris, when have I ever lied to you? Uh, all the time? Every time you open your mouth? Yeah, based on what they told me, it's a pretty consistent behavioral pattern of yours. Okay, fine, fine. But hey, I'm here now, and that's big of me, so let's all go to that embarrassingly small dwelling you humans call home. The fact that you live where you defecate makes zero sense to me. I don't judge, but it's disgusting. And that should be the last one. Thanks, kiddo. Here's a space rock. Mm, this looks like gravel. No, it's from space. Woo, space! Pretty sure it's gravel. Fine. Here's 40 green dollars. Pleasure doing business with ya. Iris, again, I'd be happy to make a few improvements to your charming little hovel here, but I'm respecting your request to quote-unquote back off. Thank you. And I would offer you tea, but you might get it pregnant and take off, leaving the tea to discover it was one of many teas that have been steeped in BS across the galaxy. That's fine. I prefer coffee anyway. So how long are you staying? Oh, little Jude's always so full of questions. I admire that about you. Reminds me of me. But there's no need to get into specifics. Let's just say I'm here to make up for lost father-daughter time, and I know exactly how. I bought your school! Ew, is that how you spell Judy? Dad! This is going to be great! I'm going to be the best father-slash-principal there ever was! Ugh! Can't you just be like other negligent dads and take me out to ice cream once every six months? This is better. I get to see you every day, spend time with you, make the teachers change your grades. Look! Judy, I feel compelled to give you an A on today's exam. No need to come to class. As the great Eugene O'Neill once said, hang out with your awesome dad, Judy. <sighs> Not the reaction I was expecting. Hey, fellas, let's hold off a minute. She's not excited. Yet. Good morning, students. It's me, your new principal, Judy's dad. Your old principal is gone now. He just is. Don't ask where or why. Now, don't think of me as your principal. Think of me as your principal. Oh, my uh, God, you <laughs> lame. Oh, man, do I sound lame. But you know what isn't lame? Starting today, lunch is going to be twice as long, and it's officially a pizza party every day. What? You know what? Let's get rid of periods and it's lunch all day and a pizza and ice cream Sundays and piñata party 24-7 todos los días days. What? No. Woo! Please come. Have fun. I'm Judy's dad. Your dad is awesome, Judy. True dad right there. I would totally respect him and forgive him for abandoning me. <laughs> Um, a burger made of candy and an ice cream shake made of burgers? It can be done! It is done! I can't believe he thinks this will just erase all my memories of him being a bad dad. He stood me up a month ago! How can I forget that? Judy, you know I'm usually 100p on your side, but, uh, your alien dad is kinda awesome. <laughs> he straight up gave me cash in this blowtorch. At two, Corey? <sighs> Hey, Pete, looking good, mate. Maddie, is that a new shirt? Because I like. Dino, Oscar, give me some of that senior class skin, okay? Well, if it isn't my favorite daughter, and that's saying a lot, because I probably have a thousand of those. I feel so special. Wait a second. This blowtorch turns things into gold. Ah, oh, you're the best, Judy's dad. I'm going to burn this school into money, baby. Isn't this wonderful, Judes? Look, I even made the football team do a Judy chant. Judy's great. Judy rules. We would date her if and when we finish business school. We will treat her with respect. <laughs>
Whatever you're trying to do, stop. It isn't working. Yes, it is. Everyone loves me. And I get to see your beautiful face in the hallway. Oh, come here, come here. You're going to love this. Wow, that's actually amazing. My hair looks great. No, stop. Being a dad is more than just doing really cool things. But you admit it's cool. Like crazy cool, but that's not the point. None of these things are going to make up for the fact that you abandoned mom and me when I was just a baby. Look, you might biologically be my dad, but I don't know who you are. And let's be honest, you don't know who I am either. You never cared. But I do, I care. Look. Go back to class, party is over. Go back to class, party is over. I admit I haven't been the best father. I could give an excuse and say it's because my species usually just squirts out a couple of tentacle seeds and leaves the spawn to fend for itself, or occasionally we eat it. But I understand that for humans, reproduction comes with responsibility. Apologizing isn't going to make up for... I know. I failed you and your mum. But Jude's... I have been paying attention. I've been watching you ever since you were a baby. You have? I remember the exact shade of green you were when you first shot out of your mother's mouth. Very unsettling. I remember when you were seven years old and you wished upon a star to meet me. And when I didn't come, you decided all stars were liars. And know what? They are. I remember the first time you rode a bicycle and you fell down and said your first curse word. Horse. Horse. And I know that you dream of being an astrophysicist one day, which I think is a terrible idea. I would encourage you to aim higher and cooler, maybe a galactic dictator or a DJ. Look, I know there's nothing I can do to make up for not being there, but I really want to try. Oh, Dad. So, how about we start right now by letting your negligent father take you out for some ice cream? I'd love to. Good. Because I replaced your biology class with a gelateria. Felt that subject was going to waste. After you. Mr. Russo? Hey, Judy. Two gelatos in a cone, please. One for me and one for my daughter, Judy. Um, what flavor? Do you have mint chocolate? What a dumb question to ask, Russo. Two scoops of the Flavor 42, please. Trust me, Judy, it's the best gelato in the galaxy. Many aliens have died trying to figure out the recipes. Decade-long wars have been waged. I killed several people myself. Wait, what? There you go. Enjoy. Of course we will. Hey, Judy, you doing okay? Yeah, I think so. Well, if you need anything, I'm here. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly where I'll be. Your dad's been zapping me around the school all day. I think at one point I was a water slide. Thanks, Mr. Russo. That really... OMG, Judy, you got to try this. Oh, oh, and this is great. Isn't father-daughter time the best? Oh, oh, I have one more surprise. It's okay, Dad. I don't need any more surprises. Oh, trust me, you're going to like this one. <clears throat> Based on your exemplary performance as an ambassador, I believe Earth may finally qualify for membership in United Planets. This dump? I know, right? So I want you to help me prepare the application and come to headquarters to present it. What do you say? But I thought ambassadors had to work on their base planets for a year before they could go up to HQ. Well, I think we could make an exception for an exceptional ambassador like this one. I knew you'd like it. Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, how long is this hug going to be? I'm only comfortable when I initiate hugs. The other way around feels weird. But sure, this is good. I'm a good dad. 